Within the star system Zeta 2 Reticuli, there is a planet known by the name of Calpermos. Orbiting this gas giant is a total of three moons, and in today's data log we will be discussing exactly what we know of the moon LV223 and the events that occurred there preceding the Prometheus disaster in the mid 2090s. While information is scarce, there is in fact some evidence and rumours we have to discuss about this mysterious world. LV223 was actually one of the first exoplanets known to humanity. We were given basic information about the world and its location in space by the enigmatic alien race known as the Engineers, who have periodically visited Earth through our history. Therefore, this moon has been intertwined with humanity for some time. It wasn't until the late 2080s though that the first mission to this world was set to make its voyage. This was Project Prometheus, and it aimed to reconnect humanity with our engineer forefathers and discover the answers to some of the biggest questions humanity has ever asked about the universe. The scientific exploration vehicle, the USCSS Prometheus, touched down on the moon LV223 in the year 2193. And while some questions were answered for the crew, a whole hell of a lot more were generated from the chaos that ensued during their time exploring the dangerous temples of the moon and facing the last engineer. The mission failed and the Prometheus was destroyed. The final survivor Elizabeth Shaw and Android David escaped the moon aboard an engineer juggernaut ship in search of more answers, leaving behind a mess of trouble. We know of the events that occurred there due to the little garbled data that could be compiled through transmissions received by Wayland Corp from the USCSS Prometheus mission at the time and through the final testimonial of Dr. Elizabeth Shaw before her departure from the moon that was also transmitted back to Wayland Jutani. However, the question posed to the project is, what became of the moon LV223 following the tragic events of the US CSS Prometheus and its downfall? Well, what we know of following their departure is that all that remained on the moon was the crashed and now destroyed USCSS Prometheus, a crashed engineer juggernaut, presumably spilling out its payload of engineer accelerant liquid, a few mutant creatures generated from worm-like organisms native to LV223, and obviously the resulting xenomorphic creature colloquially known as the Deacon, birthed from the last engineer. But this isn't the end of the story. The accelerant that was able to escape the juggernaut has gone on over the last hundred years to further mutate the native organisms of the moon. This has led to one of the fastest and largest planetary ecosystem metamorphosis ever seen across the middle heavens. With this valley of the engineers forgotten temples transforming into a lush and dense jungle the flora here has become so well rooted that it has actually been able to filter the carbon dioxide rich atmosphere of LV223 and produce a breathable one within a small radius around the jungle. And while the flora is impressive, the fauna is another thing altogether. The creatures here all evolving rapidly from the very basic native species on LV223. They have biodiversified to a massive degree leading to countless new species, as well as a food chain developing within the jungle. Another marvel of the moon would have to be the structure close by the crash site of the Prometheus, a living mountain. This colossal organism is theorized to be what became of the Deacon creature after its many years on the moon, eventually settling and growing to a sheer mass of alien flesh that wildlife of the jungle are sure to stay clear of. Why they have this instinct is not yet understood, but I would have to theorize that this living mountain must still need to feed and might just do so when creatures wander into the cave systems curious of what might be within. This all occurred all by the time of the 2170s, after being desolate for around 2000 years at least which really speaks to the life-giving properties of the engineer's accelerant. What is uncertain though is whether the jungle's growth is yet to penetrate the other temples in the region and their own supply of the accelerant. For if they haven't already, then they will inevitably reach them eventually, 
which will likely mean another exponentially rapid growth period for the moon's ecosystem and another massive increase in biodiversity is likely to ensue. In the year 2179, LV223 would once again be visited by humanity in the form of the survivors of the Hadley's Hope disaster. During the fall of the colony of Hadley's Hope, the people there experienced pure chaos. The colony, being situated on LV426 and being the sister moon of LV223, gave a few of those experiencing the horrors of the xenomorph infestation on Hadley's Hope an escape plan. During the xenomorph's unrelenting attacks on the colonists, a handful of them were able to make their way to a class 7 excavator vessel known as the Onega. Once they reached the Onega, this seemingly lucky band used the vessel to make their escape from the colony and out of the atmosphere of LV426. Due to the short range travel capabilities of the Onega, the only location in range that they could evacuate to was the nearby moon of LV223. However, shortly after making their dash for safety, they would realize that they inevitably failed, as several Xenomorph XX121s were able to stow away aboard the Onega. These creatures caused the survivors to enact an emergency landing on the moon LV223, and with little hope of survival, they were all in fact massacred by the Xenomorphs aboard. In the aftermath of the death of those aboard the Onega, the Xenomorphs aboard begun a hive within it and begun to extend from its mass. The Xenomorphs now call LV223 home, and have subsequently been subjected to the engineer's accelerant, and have bred using the new mutants found on the moon, causing the population within the Onega Hive to develop bizarre and unique mutations. With this dangerous subspecies of Xenomorph, the strange creatures that have developed from the native ones since the ship's accelerant spill, the living mountains, and the yet unknown dangers and horrors lurking around the many other temples in the jungle valley, LV223 has cemented itself as one of the most deadly locations on the frontier of space, and across the wider Middle Heavens region. Rumours of what has become of the world has spread through the masses, and serves as a deterrent to those passing by, to steer clear of the deadly moon that is LV223, and what has become of it since humanity's first expedition there over a hundred years ago. Before you go, I wanted to let you know about the Acheron Colonial Marketplace, the one-stop shop for all Project Acheron merchandise. All proceeds go to fund our future endeavours under the project, so if you want to support the channel and look good doing it, pick up some Acheron merch. But what other data logs would you like to see? If you have any ideas or have any questions to be answered, please leave them in the comments or contact me directly through the Project Acheron Discord. If you enjoyed today's segment, please leave a like and share the video. And if you really want to support what we do here and gain access to a bunch of awesome rewards, consider becoming a Project Acheron channel member, like Project Director Chris Dassinger and team member Raunchy. I hope to see you all here again very soon. But until then, this is the Acheron Project, signing off.